Hi friends, welcome back to ARC Tutorials. Today we are bringing you top 100 interview questions on React framework. This is part one of the multi-part series that we are bringing you. In order to help you better, you can always ask your doubts in the comment section and I'll be happy to help you for free. Stay tuned. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. So you get all the latest videos and interview tutorials and question answers right to you directly. Let's get started with first part of React top 100 interview questions. The first question that is often asked is, what is your understanding of React or what is React? React is an open source front-end JavaScript library, which is used for building user interfaces especially for single page applications. It is used for handling view layer for web and mobile apps. React was created by Jordan Walk, or a software engineer working at Facebook. So React was first deployed on Facebook's news feed in 2011 and on Instagram in 2012. There has been a lot of changes and revisions after that, and it is much stable and mature now that we can use it in our applications. So be, be, make sure you know the current version that you're working with on React and the application specifics that you're working with. The next question is, what are the major features of React? The major features of React are, it uses virtual DOM instead of real DOM. Considering that real DOM manipulations are expensive, and when we say expensive, it is in terms of the time it's taking to render and to process the page. So real DOM, I'm sure if you're coming from JavaScript background, you know it is DOM is nothing but document object model, which uses get element by ID, append child, remove child, etc. React supports server side rendering, which is again very important, the striking feature of React. React follows unidirectional data flow or data binding. React uses reusable and composable UI components to develop the view, which means that you can build multiple smaller components instead of one giant web page. So this would help you better and for us to help build faster. When you are working with a distributed team, often you want to build components which are smaller, easy to reuse and easy to maintain. That's where React comes into picture. The next question is, what is JSX? JSX is an XML-like syntax extension to ECMAScript. And it, stand, it stands for JavaScript XML. So the syntax would look, the JSX syntax uh, will look like more like an XML kind of a standard. And it was it is introduced as part of React so that you write all your template right inside your JS and instead of maintaining a separate view. Basically, it just provides syntactic sugar for the react.create element function, giving us expressiveness of JavaScript along with the HTML like template syntax. So when you are asked what is JSX, you can just say it's an XML like syntax, which is used to render the view easily in React. That would be a better way of putting it. Maybe you can give an example of it. The next question is, what is the difference between element and component? An element is a plain object describing what you want to appear on the screen in terms of the DOM nodes or other components. So element, we know that uh, it's just a simple um, element, which is nothing but like any HTML element or template. A component, elements can contain other elements in their properties. Creating a React element is cheap. Once an element is created, it is never mutated. So that is the difference between element and component. I'll cover this question in much detail in the next part with example. So hold on to that thought with me and continue. Let's continue building on this tutorial. The next question is how to create components in React? So there are two ways to create components in React. The first way is to write a function component. The other is to write class component. So the question that is often asked is, 
what what are the different types of components that in react or you can also say can you tell what are the different types how can you create components in react so the first way is function component the other is class component so those are the two ways you can create components the next question is what are function components in detail so this is an extension to the previous question here we will be talking in detail about what is a function component so function component is the simplest way to create a component those are pure javascript functions that accept property objects as first parameter and returns and react elements so if you see the example that is given here it is nothing but a simple method or javascript function which takes a argument and then returns the data or the template or the html so it's simple right so think of it like this a function component is nothing but a javascript method which will take a input which is nothing but the property object and return us the react element we will cover this with a lot more examples so stay tuned for now just understand the basics the next question is what are class components so this is again related to the previous question we saw what is a function component now we will look at what is a class component so if you see in uh, in es6 onwards that is javascript we can define classes so a class component is nothing but a simple javascript class which is used to define a component the above fun so we saw the function that we wrote in the previous um, inter a question so there we wrote a function component now we are extending it by writing a class component let's see how to write that so here we will write class class name extends react dot component so that is how everything will extend the react dot component because at the end it will react it will it will give back the react element so the way we write is class class name extends react dot component and then every class should return a render and render will return the actual react element so it's similar it, it if you are coming for the first time it may take time i would suggest please go back to the previous questions where we covered about function component and then class in the coming tutorials i want to give you practical implementation so i will show you some hands on code examples of how do you write how easy it is to write so if you have any doubts so far please drop in in the comments let's continue to the next question when to use a class component over a function component this is a very very common question that is asked this is to check whether you have really implemented any react application or not so if the component needs state or life cycle methods then use class component otherwise use function component so there will be cases where you will need to store the current state of a particular element or you want to use some life cycle methods if you want to do that you have to use class component if it's a simple function which is just taking an input and then giving you an output based on that you can just use a function component however from react 16.8 with the addition of hooks you could use state life cycle methods and other features right in your function component instead of writing a class but it's always a good practice to write class components than function component all right so the next question is what are pure components so react dot pure component is exactly the same as react dot component except that it handles should component update method for us so when you think of it like this when you think of prop uh, pure components when property or state changes pure component will do a shallow comparison on both properties and state component on the other hand won't compare current props and state to the next out of the box so the component will re-render by default whenever should component is called so this is this is an example of a pure component whenever it will automatically call should component update 
then that particular component becomes pure component. All right. So today I'm going to cover this much. In the next tutorial, I'm going to cover some more details of React and also the hands-on example. If you like the video, please drop in your comments. Please like this video, share this video and do let me know other topics that you want me to cover. In the next section, I'm going to bring you the practical hands-on examples of all the interview questions on React. This is React Top 100 Interview Questions Part 1. Stay tuned for more part series. We are bringing you live with many more tutorials. Again, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so to help and keep supporting me, keep encouraging me. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you in the next episode.